just uh, steep in some chaga and artist conch. They're just two mushrooms that grow locally around here. Basically extracting them with hot water to make a tea, to get the medicinal uh, components out of them and have a hot cup of tea. I'm Cody and I believe in the healing powers of nature. I think I've always liked foraging, even since I was a little kid. I'd always go out picking berries and stuff with my mom. That was always kind of a part of my life. I kind of gravitated towards picking my own food and picking my own medicine. Tea out of it. Initially, I started foraging food on the West Coast when I lived on Vancouver Island. When I came back here, it was just natural. I just started looking around and reading different books and looking online for different things that grow around here. and. Uh, Chaga was pretty popular, especially with locals around here and natives, and just started looking for it. I went out by myself one day, and I think the first day that I went out, I got 30 pounds or so, and I realized, like, you can sustainably harvest this stuff. And I started seeing how, um, how many people have stories about how much it helps them with their pain and different stories, how people believe that it's actually healed their cancer. That's cleaned and chopped, dried out chaga, but basically it's this big black chunk that grows out of birch trees. And they can get upwards of, like we found a 43 pound chunk before. It's, sometimes you'll find 100, 100 pounds on a single tree. So they get huge, they get really big. Yeah, it's more important to sustain the chaga than it is to harvest it. So I mean, if you're gonna take too much, then I don't, I don't think you should be taking it at all. 20, 30%. For regrowth. That's my ultimate goal basically is to is to be as self-sustainable as possible. It's always a work in progress. Ultimately I want to grow my own food, forage my own food, harness my own energy and live off the land and try and be as regenerative and reciprocal to the environment as possible. I have gratitude every day for the fact that I'm able to live where I live and 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 do what I do, be able to help other people with it. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically the driving force that keeps me going. I just realize how much it is helping and how much I love to do it. So it just makes total sense to just carry on and do it. And it's, I can just really feel it at my core that this is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. So it's, uh, it's pretty easy to keep, to keep going. Double E. Edible. Just stops in the middle of the road. Yeah, man, it's everywhere. Foragers, eh? That's cool.